wow, that light looks better in here. It's crazy. All right, that was simple. All right. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, cool. So that's how you change the oil on a car, honestly, for any car, but definitely uh, 2004 Nissan Maxima. What's up, guys? It's Sir Murph here. And I got the Ultima here, so we're gonna do an oil change. Now, I didn't have already changed the filter, but it's, it still needs the oil changed. Now, this is just like part one of what we're gonna do. Doing an oil change on this car should not be that hard. Very simple. We're gonna go right through it. So let's hop in. Now, real quick, because somebody else mentioned this. How many people knew I actually have tattoos? Like, how many people knew before this video that I actually have tattoos? Let me know in the description. And a free shout out to anyone who knows how many I have. And that will be placed in the video after the correct answer. Yeah. So let's hop into this oil change. So what do you need for an oil change? Well, you need a pan because the oil has to go somewhere. You're going to need a funnel for when you put a new oil in so this way it doesn't go everywhere. And you're going to need some oil. Now, this isn't like my favorite one. It's like my third favorite, you could say. If Valvoline ever sees this, um, you guys are my favorite. Please help me out. But... Just gonna need some good oil and definitely recommend full synthetic no matter what car you have. Full synthetic lasts the best and provides the most protection. So even for you people who forget every 3,000 miles to change your oil, it'll give you a little bit of cushion. And air fresheners. You don't need air fresheners for an oil change, but some of y'all don't have air fresheners in your car. Get some. It's terrible. And then ultimately you need a jack or something to lift the car up. Also, you must identify something that can be hard. So we identify a piece of metal under here. It's like a, a beam for the lift to go on. This way it doesn't damage the frame or damage the side panel. So yeah. And just for a record, I know someone's gonna say something about these ridiculous pants I got on. I know, shut up. It just so happened that <laughs> all of my auto stuff was, I'm washing it. So I had to put on something I don't wear. And wow, that light looks better in here, it's crazy. But yeah. Okay, so we're underneath the car and this is the, uh, the oil pan, goddamn. And you can tell, cause the oil filter is right here. So that's your oil filter. This is your oil container, but this is the oil pan. And this is the drain plug. So this is what we must remove to take away the old oil. Almost forgot to mention, you need a ratchet and the bit. I guarantee you that this is the 15. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. All right, so what you're gonna do is when you place the pan, you're gonna place it not directly under it, but at an angle because all of this is gonna come down in a stream. So now we just gotta put the ratchet on here. I'm gonna break it loose. All right, that was simple. All right, so, all right. You don't want to let the, the pan fall. You gotta stick your hand through all the oil. And here we go. <laughs> okay, cool. And this is about the point where you can just go ahead and put it back in. Yep. Okay, let's see. And then you're just gonna go ahead and tighten that back in there. Make sure you don't over tighten it, but make sure it's tight. Then finally, you're just gonna identify where to put the oil at. And usually you can tell where the yellow stick is where the actual engine is. So that means the cap must be close, but you can also identify just by looking on this Lego. So then I'm just gonna take the cap off. And look how empty, like, can you see how empty it is in there? Like it's clean in there, oh my gosh. But go put your funnel in there. And then ultimately you just pour your oil and your funnel. I'm not gonna show you that part cause it's clear cut. So this engine takes four and a half quarts. This is five quarts. That means do not pour all of this in there. So as we can see over here where the quart numbers is, we're going to be right where the words are, which would be about four, four and a half quarts. And then ultimately, we're just going to start it up and let it run a little bit. This car smells so old. Let it run for a good like five minutes. 
and to the operates at normal temperature simple and yeah and then just want to check for leaks on the ground no leaks pretty good so that's how you change the oil on a car honestly for any car but definitely uh 2004 nissan maxima now if you want to see any more videos of me fixing cars and working on stuff then click here and i'll catch you guys in the next one and remember if you can guess how many tattoos i have i will do a free shout out because why not <laughs>